Altamira's moths are just amazing and awesome. And this is one of the reasons why. Just look at the amazing larva of Altamira's excreta. The spines on its back of course are a little bit toxic, but it's nothing too bad. It'll only burn like a stinging nettle. These are the kind of species I simply love to breed. Really amazing. I hope to be able to show you many species of these this year just to convince you of their beauty in case this doesn't convince you. Hmm, it doesn't want to let go of my hand. Oh, there we go. As you can see there's many more larvae in here. Most of these are Autumeris excreta. There you go. As with many species from this genus, they do quite well on oak tree. Oak tree seems to be the preferred food plant of many, many species of Autumeris at least. There's quite a few larvae in here if you look closely. What's interesting is there are multiple species in here. There's not only Automeris excreta, but also Liberia in here. I believe the Liberia are a little bit smaller, but very similar looking in appearance. Here one is shedding skin. You can tell by the web. These species spin a little silk web before they shed their skins. It's kind of nice to see. And here we see one cheeky larva spinning silk. I'm not entirely sure why. It doesn't look too it doesn't look big enough yet to pupate. But it doesn't look like it's going to shed skin either, so I don't know what's it trying to do here. Why are you spinning a web? I don't know why this one is producing silk. Either way. Outer mirrors are best reared in uh, containers like this. Just plastic containers. Put them in, in there and they'll be fine. Amazing species. I really, 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 really love these. I love outer mirrors. Take a look. Thanks for watching, guys. And keep watching my YouTube channel because obviously you want to know when these are going to grow up and turn into beautiful moths. And I hope to share my videos so you can enjoy them just as much as I do.